and welcome in a new session of the course research ethics and plagiarism whenever we talk about the ethical practices in research we should also discuss that what are the unethical things which are generally being practiced at certain places and two such concepts are fabrication and falsification about which i am going to discuss in this session i am dr gorab singh your course instructor and i am with you since the starting of the course and will remain with you till the end of the course so let us start our journey to understand the concepts of fabrication and falsification what is fabrication generally it is said that fabrication means cooking up the false data or representing it as the real interpreting it and publishing it as a research outcome then it is called fabrication for example one may imagine a sample and can create a data table based on that sample size without filling any tool without conducting any research or any data collection process or sometimes the tool may be there but the tool is not being filled by the sample rather a single person is filling all the tools with the fake names and participant information and create a fake data pool so means when there is no real data collection or there is no experiment but you presented that data has been collected or experiment has been done and outcomes are these so this is called data fabrication there are lot of definitions about fabrication but you will find that all are the definitions or all people who are talking about fabrication are talking about the same thing so fabrication can be defined as an unethical practice of construction or addition of data observation or characterization which has never happened or occurred during the data collection process or an experiment sometimes fabrication occurs when researchers report the data or filled up the research tools before the process is completed an outcome is reported or claimed on the basis of incomplete or assumed data which should be the outcome of the analysis of complete data set so means the researchers sometimes do some unethical practices and they create some fake data which they have not collected they report certain process which they have never performed they report an experiment which was never conducted and create a research publication on the basis of that so this poor practice or this unethical practice is known as fabrication but the question is that why do researchers fabricate the data many people have identified many reasons if you read the literature if you read the research papers on it you will find that there are many reasons which have been identified by the people that why do researchers fabricate the data some researchers fabricate the data in order to get the pre decided or desired results if some results are intended to come and they are not coming researchers fabricate the data or sometimes if researchers have certain personal beliefs that the hypothesis which they have framed should be rejected or accepted compulsorily and if their data is not favoring their choice then they fabricate the data sometimes in the in the case of funded researchers garrett has identified that field workers may represent the fabricated data due to low funds by the sponsors because many research in especially in the managerial research in the marketing research or even in the scientific research is also they are researched by certain agencies those researches are funded by certain agencies and those agencies are funding a research with a particular objective if the field worker has a fear that if my data will not compile or will not be in tune with the sponsors wish they may lower my funds so in order to get more funds field worker may present the fabricated data one very typical reason was identified by marshall in 2003 he said that 
the social and political conditions in an area sometimes also forces a researcher to fabricate the data because if in a research something is coming out which is not in tune with the social norms or the political outfit which is in the control in that particular area researchers fabricate the data so that they should not face any social or political exclusion at many places the issues related to fabrication of the data have been reported due to the absence of national policies on scientific misconduct or research misconduct fortunately in india now we have a policy and norms and regulations for that in institutional structure or in a research environment sometime the peer pressure if your colleague is publishing more paper than you you may face a pressure of publishing more and when you are going to publish more and more many times you fabricate the data so sometimes the peer pressure the institutional pressure or the regulatory pressure for example for your promotion if certain research papers are required and you have short time what you do you find some shortcuts and fabrication is one of that how people fabricate the data if you see the examples there are many classical examples which we will show you in a different video you will find that sometimes the experiments are reported which have never conducted this is also a data fabrication sometimes by misrepresenting the actual data to suit a desired outcome sometimes by developing a hypothetical research tool and filling that up the data up to the desired sample size sometime mixing the collected data with the cooked data to reach to a desired conclusion if it is a ill practice or poor practice then how we can avoid it as a researcher we should also know it so my first suggestion will be and these suggestions i have taken from pontier.org that be a stickler for accuracy whatever is coming in your research whatever is the outcome of your data analysis report it accurately report accurately your findings no matter what the result is follow the ethical guidelines and maintain high standard for accuracy of your report whatever you are reporting take a responsibility for every fact you can double check your observations you can cross check your data you can take the secondary data only from the reliable sources and always attribute the sources from where you are taking the data so that whatever fact you are presenting in your article in your paper in your research you are responsible for that you should stick to the facts what do you mean by sticking to the facts sticking to the facts means that never extrapolate or misrepresent the facts don't amplify or elaborate the data to make your out outcome more interesting or dramatic be aware of legal risks sometimes fabrication may hurt your career prospects as well as it will tarnish the reputation of your institution you may be challenged legally if your fabricated report is harming someone's reputation whether it is an individual group or institution so we all should avoid fabrication the second such research misconduct is known as falsification so what is falsification falsification is an unethical practice to manipulate the research material equipment process or changing or omitting the data or result in such a way that research is not accurately represented in research records for example in science if an image has been taken and the image is not matching with your expected outcomes then some researchers do some splicing or pasting from different images and create it as a single image and they represent it so it is a misrepresentation of the image in the office of research integrity falsification has been defined as it is manipulating the research material equipment or processes or changing or omitting the data or results such that the research is not accurately represented in the research records sometimes falsification is defined as a misconduct 
by changing or omission of the research results or data to support the claim, hypothesis and other data. Falsification can include the manipulation of research instrumentation, research material or the process. So falsification is not only limited to the data, it can be in the process, it can be in the instrumentation, it can be in the material. Manipulation of the images or representation in a matter that distorts the data or reads too much between the line is also considered as falsification. There are many examples. If you see the literature, you will find a lot of examples of research falsification. For example, removing a data set from the series of measurement, especially when the data is at extremes and which is not coming or which is not in tune with your expectations, you remove those extremes scores either at the lower end or at the higher end to come to a desired mean or median. Sometimes manipulating a data set to make it higher or lower. If it is an image, you can, some people can adjust the brightness or color sequence of a particular gel band, not the all bands of the same photo. Sometimes people add error bars to a single measurement and they suggest that multiple measurements have been performed. There are some classical examples like reusing the same western blot either in the same orientation or mirrored or rotated or stressed to represent different experiments. Showing two overlapping microscopy images to represent two different experiments. Presenting data as if it is derived from cell line A while it was obtained from cell line B. Duplicating some cells on a photo to look like that treatment is resulted into a single image. There are three very popular cases, Andrew Wakefield case, Haruka Avocata case and Huang Bo Suk case which are known as the classical cases of falsification. An online video is being shared with you in the course material to know more about these cases. How to prevent data falsification? Extensive pre-testing of the survey question so that whatever errors are coming in your questionnaire all should be removed before final collection of the data. Always prepare certain guidelines for briefing the interviewer, for selecting or recruiting the respondents and for monitoring the field work so that no falsification is possible in the field work. Analysis of the process of obtaining interviews and of answering process during the interview. So I hope that this discussion will help you in developing a better understanding about two unethical research practices that is fabrication and falsification. So let us avoid these and let us promote ethical practices in research. Thank you very much.